Yo guys, what is up? Some Modern Gamer here bringing you a Halo 3 gameplay on Last Resort. I haven't made a Halo video in a few months, um, actually since the first few days of Master Chief Collection came out. And I only made that one video, and the reason behind that is, as we all know, if you're a Halo fan, if you play Halo, Master Chief Collection is broken. Um, even after, how long has it been out? Five months? It is still broken, um, and, and partly being they just released it when they shouldn't have. Uh, they released it way too early, and you know, company or game, uh, game companies. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's Microsoft or if it's 343, but they wanted it to come out the 10th anniversary of Halo 2, and I get that. Like Halo 2 um, was a big game. It was a popular game. A lot of people played it, loved it. Um, I actually wasn't one of them. I, I didn't play Halo 2 too much um, when it was new. I was a Halo 3 um, player, but I did play Halo 2 some. But like I said, they released it way too early. They had to meet that deadline, the, the 10th anniversary of Halo 2. And that just really killed off the 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 community really it, it made people mad whenever they bought the game and they weren't able to do the things that they thought they were going to be able to do they couldn't do things they were promised like you couldn't even join games you couldn't even join your friends you couldn't you know play with your friends that you that you couldn't reminisce is what i'm trying to say you couldn't play like you played 10 years ago when you played halo 2 and that's what everyone was hoping for I, for one, Halo 3 was what I was excited about. Just being able to play Halo 3 again was the reason I bought this game. And they didn't even change anything to Halo 3. I just I just got excited to play Halo 3 again. Um, the community for Halo at the moment is just dead. Um, I mean, that's that's really the only way I can describe it, is it's dead. Uh, you have people, well, I have a few, few little notes I want to talk about, um, revolving around the community, um, but mainly with, uh, Master Chief Collection is people are leaving games left and right. You, you finally, you know, they finally fixed a lot of the problems in Master Chief Collection, and you're finally able to get in into games faster. Still, still not as fast as you know they should have been uh, at launch, but a lot faster than you used to be able to. That you get in them, and then it'll be a five v five, and two people will quit like at the start. Like it, then it'll be a five v three. Um, I don't I don't know why people do that. I don't know if. You know, if they quit just because they didn't get a BR's gameplay or game type, um, or if they didn't get, you know, the pit, or if they're playing Anniversary, if they didn't get Shrine, like, nope, they're quitting. Like, you know, like, and I, I see a lot of people do it on, you know, certain certain playlists, I mean, uh, certain game types and certain maps, and I just don't see why. Like, it's a variety. Halo 2 Anniversary only has, you know, four maps as it is. I think it's four, five, whatever it is. Um, I don't know why they would quit out for over a certain map. Uh, yeah, I like playing BRs too. That's, you know, it's the best gun in the game. You know, BR Sniper, that's my opinion. And then if they don't get it, they quit. Like, they can't use any other gun. Like I said, I don't know if that's why they quit. Maybe they're just angry people <laughs> and they just like, you know, screwing people over. But it really takes the fun out of the game whenever it's, you know, 5v3. And you're on the the team that has three people, you know. It just turns you away. It turns you off of the game. Um, and and if you can carry like a lot of people can, then yeah, you can still win those games. Like me, I'm not that great anymore at Halo 3. I used to be, you know, a lot better than I am now. And now I kind of just play to have fun, um, play around, mess around with friends. And now when it ha that happens. Uh, it's it's hard to it's hard to have fun whenever I'm getting spawn trapped and I just I wish it weren't like I wish it wasn't like that um, but 
I don't think it's going to be fixed anytime soon. Not with Master Chief Collection. Hopefully that changes. People will stop quitting. Another thing with the community is betrayals. If they don't quit, they betray you. Um, if they don't get a gun they want, they betray you. And that's because there is no... Um, there's no penalty for that. Same thing with quitting. There's no penalty for quitting. Halo 3, if you quit, you lost an ex you lost like two experience or something like that. I don't remember what. And that may not seem like a lot, but like you work for... In Halo 3, I remember playing like nonstop, just grinding experience because I wanted to be like, you know, a, a general uh, grade 5. Like, I, th I think that was the best general grade 5. And that means you had to have like a 50 and you had to have like 5,000 experience or something like that. Like that was fun to me. And I never wanted to lose those experience points. That was like something I did not want to lose. So I always just played, you know, no matter how bad I was losing, I didn't want to quit. And there's nothing like that in Halo uh, Master Chief Collection. So I think that's that maybe that's a part of it. Um, and I know they're working on a, a system to prevent that. And I know I've read some about it. But I haven't seen anything yet. Like I said, they're working on a lot of things. I just don't know how effective they're going to be at this time. Because it's already so late into the game that people are already, people have already sold it. Or, you know, just decided, you know what, I'm not playing Halo anymore. Like, even for Halo 5, I'm afraid that a lot of fans aren't going to buy it. Because of how messed up Master Chief Collection was. Um, uh, people and not wearing mics that is huge uh, i remember halo 3 we i used to get on after school me and a few friends would play not like you know until we went to sleep really and we would always like if it were you know an uneven like i played a lot of ranked so if it was like three of us then there would always be that one random and he would always have a mic you you hardly ever got into a lobby where people didn't have mics unless you played social and there were like guests and stuff like that like people talked and communicated and you know just just it helped the team's morale you know like you you all bonded and had fun together and now it's just turning into something that i don't that i don't uh that i that i hope halo 5 is not i i just i will be buying halo 5 most definitely. I'm not going to not buy it. And I'm, I'm even going to pre-order. I'm not going to not pre-order Halo 5 just because uh, of Master Chief Collection's problems. I feel like Master Chief Collection got rushed. They had a deadline. They couldn't, you know, postpone the date. So they did what they had to do. I feel like Halo 5 is going to be better um, only because they've had all this time while Master Chief Collection was out. And I know even that, even though it had its problems, I feel like they're focusing more on Halo 5 than Halo uh, Master Chief Collection. But really, guys, that's it. I just wanted to, t uh, to talk a little bit about the, the problems with the community. But I will be making more Halo videos. I, I want to start making a uh, kind of Halo-based series, a, a Halo-based series. Um... But I, I just have to play, I have to start playing more and more and more to get those gameplays. But until then, guys, take care.